Hey, it's me, Julia, again. I'm showing you in this video how um, the Siri shortcut actually works. Now, you will need to change the API data for your particular app, so you will need to make a sniff of it first. So I'm just going to show you the insides of the details on how it works. So this is all data that I sniffed out using HTTP Catcher. So I, I looked at the, um, the login page and I looked at the structure of the login page and then I made, um, you know, the, uh, uh, this part portion of it, the get request, um, based off of that information. So yeah, you'll see like an app token here. You do need to sniff that out from the app. Like I said, you need to do a basic sniff of, of the app before you make these types of things. But yeah, so I have the app token in there. That's the only actual information that I needed. Um, and then from here on, like you just enter in your email. I'm obviously not going to show you the one where I have my email and password entered, but yeah, it's a JSON body. It's a request body. Um, and it's a get request again, that app token will, will this app token here will not work. In fact, this is a made up app token, but, um, yeah, this will show you that you're in Canada, but you're not. So yeah, you need to find out what your app token is. Um, yeah, and then of course, transfer encoded chunked. And then after that, you get the value for the ID and the contents of the URL. So that's just the, I guess the, um, I think your employee ID or something like that. Or, yeah. And then what happens is you get the value for the token and the contents of the URL, which is the token for your login session. And then it basically takes this information, encodes it, and, um, and it turns it into a dictionary value. And that's how it goes. And then that it grabs all the scheduled shifts. So like this API here, it says API courier that skip the dishes.com. Obviously, if you're on uh, just eats, it will be very different. And again, you just need to have that information sniffed out. And then you have to have your courier ID entered into the one section here and then slash shifts and then scheduled. It'll look roughly the same for um, just eats because the app is structured the exact same. Um, so yeah, and then, yeah, it gets you, it's a get request, right? Or oh, sorry, this one here is a post request. I'm not saying it's a get request. Sorry, this one's a post. Yeah, so you'll, you'll see po method type is post, right? First one is post. And then the other ones are just get. So get request. And then, um, again, it looks for the values of all the shifts available. And then it puts them into the list, into a dictionary, and it just iterates over the dictionary. So all the... Um, shift IDs that are that come up as available and then contents of the URL of course this is a post request when you're making um, a confirm shift so you're confirming a shift so yeah it's a post um, this is how it is um, this is for I, like I said it's for my iPhone so you just need this header information um, and then I just put a notification saying that I got the shift and this works really well for like if you're trying to um, grab the shifts at shift grab time and you just need to grab a whole bunch, this, this works relatively well. Um, you could essentially take this information and write a program or write a code program and like, um, uh, I guess you would say set it up to run at a certain time and then, uh, you know, have it run at a certain time every day. But you, you want to be careful in terms of just how often you run this. Like you don't want to run this for like, you know, every minute of every day or whatever, right? Like you want to run it just when you kind of know when they're going to drop shifts. Um, so yeah, you could technically make a program and set it up so that, you know, you're running it at 10 a.m. every morning or something like that or whenever you prefer. Um, you could also set this up in, in shortcuts to like go 60 times, like repeat this process like 60, 50 times or whatever, right? Um, and just with, uh, I think this method here, hold on, done. I'm going to see if I could edit this. Da, 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 da. Actually, you know what? Let's see. I no. Um, no, it's not time. It is called. Um, oh, I know what it's called. It's, it's not on top of my head right now. Um, repeat. Repeat with each. So like you could set it up to repeat, but of course you're going to like encase this in within the app. So you're going to go drag this all the way up to the top and then go repeat. Oh no, we're not going to end the repeat here. Sorry. 
you want to encase this. Hold on. Uh, this is not right. Hold on. Uh, repeat. Say six. But but yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like say I'm going to repeat six, six, seven times here. And I am going to break the repeat cycle. Sorry. This is frustrating. So I'm going to drag that all the way down to the bottom. Cancel. Um, where's the repeat ending? Oh, I don't want to. I want to end the repeat all the way down at the bottom. For all of this. Sorry, this is getting a little frustrating to deal with. There's probably a better way to do it, but it's just not occurring to me right now. But you get what I'm saying here. I'm just going to drag the end repeat all the way to the bottom. Oh. Want to work with me, thing? Yay. Yeah, this is not working with me. But anyways, um, I think you get what I'm what I'm going at. I'm gonna just drag the in, the end repeat all the way to the bottom, or actually maybe I could just delete that one. Hold on. Mm. No, I don't think I can. But anyways, yeah, I think you get what I'm going at here. Um, you can make a program to do this, uh, and you could set it up for a timer or something like that. But this is just the the basic gist of what you're supposed to do um, with it. But yeah, I, I made this just with HTTP Catcher and Siri Shortcuts. Have a good day.